Hi guys. It is a lovely spring day in New York, baby. I am so glad to be back in New York on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon, April 29th, 2023. Uh, good fucking God. All right, we have made it to 50 degrees on April 29th. Unbelievable, I did not think we would see 50 degrees going into the last day of April. Uh, as springtime begins to spring, little by little, I hear there is a chance of snow on uh, Tuesday, May 2nd. We could be looking at snow flurries. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh... I am on the road again and uh, thinking about another summer in New York. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? I, I've been back three days and uh, my buddy uh, has been bitten by a spider. Good God. Uh, pretty gross. Uh, bitten by a spider. I think maybe the, uh, how long has it been? Uh, like three days ago, was bitten by a spider and uh, looking like, uh, well, anyway, you don't want to know what that looks like. Dealing with that shit. So yesterday, uh, I had been home, is it my, I guess my third day back in New York, baby, I pulled my first tick off of me, and of course the head broke off, and now I have this festering tick head uh, down in my skin, and scratching like that, and uh, reading some article in the mainstream media about all of these tick diseases spreading all over the place, uh, making everybody sick and killing everybody. You know, Sancho Panza, he already has Lyme's disease. Sancho has Lyme's disease and one of these other tick-borne diseases. So he's already got two of them. For all I know, I have Lyme's disease and some other god-awful uh, tick-borne disease. You know, I, I, I spent five weeks in the Yucatan Peninsula, another, what, uh, five weeks in Texas, all of this time traveling, not one tick, get back to New York, baby, to ticks in your skin farm, to my spider-bitten buddy, to start pulling ticks out of myself. I haven't even done a search on Sancho yet. Uh, Jesus, it, it is great to be back in the land of Lyme's disease and God knows what. So anyway, uh, I just thought this was a fine time since I have nothing better to do with my life for any of you. And I, apparently my buddy had never heard this story. Uh, <laughs> the famous uh, tick, I mean not Tick, well, don't think tick. I think it was the spider egg story. So if you've already heard the grossest bug story uh, that you will ever hear, you can uh, you can tune this Hambone uh, Tales from the Dark Side story out. But since I since I guess there's a few of you who have not heard this story. And if you Google, uh, if you Google and ask the question, can spiders lay eggs under a human skin, you will find out, Google will tell you there is no such thing as a spider or I guess any sort of little bug, spider, tick, whatever laying eggs under a person's skin. If, if Google or anybody else tries to tell you that uh, a spider 
cannot lay eggs under your, your skin. You can tell anyone telling you that, any fucking doctor, uh, I, I don't care, give a fuck. Uh, who is telling you that spiders cannot lay eggs under your skin? Uh, they are full of shit. So my my, my story started. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Well, this was probably would have been started uh, in the winter of. Uh, my guess it was either the winter of 1990 or 1991 one or the other all of these years uh, start running into each other when I would uh, when I was a snowbird living in Eugene Oregon and I would head to Costa Rica every year and live like a wild naked savage on the beaches of Costa Rica and I was hanging out in this little paradise called Montezuma, in Costa Rica, which used to be this uh, before it got ruined by the fucking uh, vulva, smoothie, slurpy, beautiful people crowd. Uh, for a couple of winters, I got into the very tail end of when Montezuma, Costa Rica was one of the coolest spots on the planet where, you know, it was just a bunch of hippies hanging out, living on the beach for the winter. So I was down there uh, in, in Montezuma, Costa Rica, probably, I'm guessing like January or February, we're going to call it uh, January or February of of 1991 that this happened so what happened I was down there and this I, I got the the worst itch in, in my pecker that I've ever had in my entire life that uh, something during the night uh, searched out uh, out of uh, out of the entire town of Montezuma, Costa Rica, this thing, this unknown thing, uh, decided it was going to what I first thought was bite me in the pecker. Uh, but after this thing went on uh, for like days or, or weeks. What I, I decided, this is not your average disgusting uh, jungle bug bite. So what I figured what had happened was that something we, which we call chiggers in the southern U.S., uh, th th that something had actually burrowed down in, uh, in, into my skin. Uh, so I thought uh, from uh, like pretty much day one that I actually had some sort of bug, some sort of bug, a chigger, a tick, whatever, uh, it had burrowed under the skin of my uh, of my pecker. I'm not, you know, literally on my on my dick, uh, and. So I, I go into San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, and, and I figured the doctors down there had heard of this, and I was telling this doctor the story and telling him that I had a bug in my dick. And he assured me that I did not have a bug in my dick. There was no such thing as a anywhere in Costa Rica uh, of a bug burrowing under somebody's skin. So uh, he does his very brief examination and announced I had scabies which was 100% unadulterated horseshit as I told him that this is not scabies. Uh, you know, I, I, so uh, he was showing me a photograph 
of what scabies looks like, and it and it had nothing to do with the fucking bug under my dick. Uh, but he gives me the scabies medicine, sends me out the door, and I I dutifully I'm putting on the, this goddamn scabies medicine, rubbing this shit into my dick, and I will have to say that the that the problem fixed itself and the thing this welt on on my dick it did disappear i uh it didn't make any sense to me but anyway for whatever reason uh it was it was over with and this thing disappeared so i assumed that it had uh, either died down inside there or had crawled back out, uh, although I didn't see any evidence that it had crawled back, but it disappeared, and uh, so I head back to, uh, to Oregon, and guess what happens when I get back to, to Oregon? The goddamn thing resurfaces. The, this damn welt uh, on the side of my dick comes out again, uh, it wasn't exactly a blister. I was 100% sure this was not herpes, which of course, uh, I, my fear of herpes is almost like my fear of death. Clearly, this was not herpes. And clearly, it was not scabies. It was a fucking bug under my dick. So, uh... I go up to the uh, the White Bird Health Clinic in uh, Eugene, Oregon, with this goddamn uh, thing on the side of my dick, and I and I walk into the White Bird Clinic, and you know there's like six or seven people there, uh, and I walk up to the girl behind the thing, you know, to to sign in. I had. Uh, I had never been there. It's the you know it's the cheap health clinic in in Eugene, Oregon, uh, the White Bird Health Clinic. So I go up there, standing in front of all those people, and the and the girl asked me, you, you know, uh, well, what are you here for? Well, I didn't want to say out loud in, in, in front of this whole room of people that I was there. Uh, because I had a fucking bug in my dick. And so I just told her uh, that I have a bug and she thought that I meant I had the flu. And she said, well, what kind of bug do you have? And I said, no, I, I mean, I literally have a bug un under my skin. And, I, and I'm trying to say this as quietly as possible but I'm sure uh, I, I'm perking up the ears of people. Then she goes, where, where do you have a bug? Uh, and, and, and like I'm pointing down and, I, and I'm saying, you, you know, trying not to say that I have a bug in my dick. And she finally gets it through her fucking skull. This is just the fucking receptionist. Uh, you know, the front room receptionist. And so she finally figures out that I think I have a bug uh, under the skin of my dick. And she blurts out in front of the whole thing, Oh, you have venereal warts, is what... She screams out to the whole fucking crowd. I see all of these little hippie chicks, ears perk up, and they're, you know, going into uh, making sure they know uh, who it is who has venereal warts. And I'm going, I don't have fucking venereal warts. It's absolutely uh, nothing to do with venereal warts. I had a fucking bug under my dick. So, uh... The uh, girl finally lets me see the doctor. So I go in there and I see uh, the doctor and he announces that I have an ingrown pubic hair. You know, he looks at my dick and, and announces to me, 
that I have an ingrown pubic hair on my dick. And I said, dude, that is patently absurd. I do not have an ingrown pubic hair. It was actually, you know, literally on the shaft of my dick. Uh, just about halfway uh, along the shaft of my dick where you don't have pubic hair. I, I'm, I'm going, dude, do you have pubic hair there on your dick? Uh, I, I said, pubic hair, I'm, I'm talking to a fucking doctor uh, saying, uh, you know, basically, how did you get a fucking uh, medical degree believing that men grow pubic hair on the shaft of their dick? Anyway, the guy, uh, I, 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 I just said, you're a clueless fucking moron. Uh, I don't have a fucking ingrown, I have a fucking bug in my dick. And, you, you know, and he agrees uh, with the guy in Costa Rica uh, that there is no, nothing in the medical literature uh, about some bug uh, burrowing under your... So I go fucking home. You know, I am putting... Uh, I, I get... I, I am putting scabies medicine uh, on there. I'm putting, the you know, the shit for crab lice what do they call that shit? Quill? Uh, I, I mean, I, I am putting ice cubes on my dick. I'm putting fucking kerosene on my dick. I'm putting crab lice shit on my dick. Uh, going, what the fuck? And of course, all during this summer, I, I am trying to, uh, uh, you know, start a new uh, love affair uh, with this n little nymphomaniac. Uh, she's fucking half the town of New York, uh, of New York, of Eugene, and, and uh, wondering why I can't get a nymphomaniac to have sex with me uh, while I'm going through the summer. But anyway, for whatever reason, the goddamn thing goes away. And I said, well, whatever I did must have worked because for the second time, the fucking thing came back again. And you know where this story is going. It disappears for a few weeks, and then lo and behold, it was around Labor Day. This motherfucking thing, that this fucking welt appears on my fucking dick now for the third time. I go back to fucking White Bird Clinic uh, in Eugene with this goddamn welt on my dick. Go back up there. Uh, I ha I have, I'm in no mood to talk to the, to the goddamn little girl up front. I asked for the same doctor who no longer works there, so she refers me to another doctor. And uh, so I go in there, and you know, he's thumbing through my notes, and no doubt the notes from the first doctor I saw about this bug in my dick. He's looking at that, and he's asking me, and, and I'm giving him the story uh, about how I have this bug uh, in my dick uh, that keeps coming and going. It'll show up and then it'll disappear and the guy is looking at me like he, he, he you know the white bird clinic is where all of the deranged mentally ill uh homeless people go he's looking at me like uh he's talking to one of these uh deranged mentally ill fucking street people you know i had long hair and a beard and all of that and he has no interest and looking at my dick. No interest whatsoever. And he's telling me, sir, you do not have a bug in your dick. It is in your head. He tells me the bug is in my head that I am imagining the bug in my dick. There is nothing in the medical literature about the, 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 that whatever I am describing, uh, you, you know, he does a quick search. He shows me 
Uh, we, we go through uh, the, the, the fucking literature. Uh, you, you know, there's nothing in there. Uh, he says, you are imagining you have a bug in your dick. And I said, dude, I, I don't have a bug in my head. I have a fucking bug in my dick. So I storm out for the second time from the White Bird Clinic in, uh, in Eugene, Oregon. I go back home, uh, you know, with the full assault. Uh, I got the fucking scabies medicine that worked the first time. Uh, I, I, I've got the fucking crab lice shit. Uh, you know, I'm hosing down my dick and all of this shit, putting the ice cubes, freezing my damn pecker off. Uh, the thing stays there uh, for about a week, and guess what? It disappears again. It disappears again. So for the third time, I try to uh, tell myself that I no longer have a bug in my dick, that I've either killed it or, it, or it's uh, crawled back out and gone wherever it goes, for the third time, I, I, I go through this fucking bullshit. So anyway, it disappears. I still never consummate my relationship with uh, this little nymphomaniac hippie chick. Uh, and I, so, you know, November 1st, I, I head out of the damn house. Uh, and you know heading back to Costa Rica driving down to Costa Rica so I'm heading back to Montezuma Costa Rica so what I used to do every year when I would get to Costa Rica I would I would find some tick riddled uh, you know little puppy about two days away from death you know, some starving, flea bag, worm riddled little puppy, and, uh, you know, and get him back uh, to health to at least hang out with me. So I, I get, so when I first get to Costa Rica, I get me a, a little puppy down there, and, and all of the various tick and flea dips and all of this shit that you, uh, that you put on, uh, you, you, you know, dogs when they're infested with fleas and ticks. So I had that in the truck with me. So I'm camping in the back of my truck. I go back to Montezuma. Uh, in my truck, I go back to the very same beach where this goddamn bug crawled into my dick in January or February, so it's been like nine or ten months. Uh, I go back to fucking Montezuma Beach uh, to the very spot where uh, this where this happened, and uh, I am there uh, at the spot where this happened. I could not have been camping there for more than like three days and take a wild guess <coughs> the fucking bug from hell uh, reappears on my dick but this time it was I, I, I mean the, the goddamn itching it was, imagine the worst itch you have ever had, I don't care, in your crotch or anywhere on your body. I'm talking an insane level of itching. Now, what the fuck was I supposed to do by this time? I'd been to three goddamn doctors, uh, so I'm wondering what in the fuck am I gonna do? So I would finally decided, fuck it that I was going to get a goddamn scalpel and I was going to slice open this goddamn blister because I knew this thing was up on the surface or was right below the surface of my skin. I don't know where this fucking bug went when it disappeared. I guess it just burrowed, you know, deep down in my fucking dick. I was one day away 
from uh, getting a scalpel and I either I was going to do it myself or I was going to hire somebody uh, to slice open my fucking dick and dig that goddamn bug out of my dick once and for all. So anyway, uh, I go to bed that night and you know, I was drinking pretty damn heavy back in those days. So uh, I, I'm sure I was drunk off my ass. I crawl in the back of my pickup truck with my little puppy, with my little flea-bitten uh, puppy and go to bed and that motherfucking thing is itching like a son of a bitch. Somehow I manage to get to sleep. Uh, probably just passed out drunk. So I am sleeping in the back of my uh, truck. You know, I'm just right there camping on the beach. I'm just on the, on the beach campground in Montezuma, Costa Rica in November of pretty sure 91. And uh, in the middle of the night, it feels like uh, I've rammed my dick up a hot uh, tailpipe. My dick is on fire, and, and I uh, and I get up, dig out my flashlight. Uh, you know, it's pitch black, dark. It's in the middle of the night, and I'm uh, and I, I'm kind of lying there on my back like half sitting up and I shine the flashlight down on my pecker uh, uh, seeing you know what in the fuck is going on down there well what was going on was not one bug crawling out of my the side of my dick it was hundreds hundreds of tiny little spiders. Uh, now they may have been ticks. I don't know. I am talking. You, you know when you see those pictures of those sea turtles hatching and climbing uh, you, you know out of their nest hole on the beach. My dick looked like a, a sea turtle a uh, hatchling site. I mean, just pouring. The, the side of my dick was ripped open and these things were pouring out of my dick. They were, they, they were crawling up. Uh, you know, they were all in my pubic hair. Some of them were crawling up uh, you, you know, up uh, towards my belly button, uh, a, a bunch of others of them were heading down to my knees, uh, just, just my entire crotch was covered with these fucking things. They were about the, you know, about the size of a pinhead maybe a little bit bigger than a pinhead and, and they were black and, and they had a bunch of fucking legs on them and they were heading up to my face and uh, you can imagine what uh, this, this was the single most horrific moment of my entire fucking life. I'm fucking freaking out. I don't know what to do. And so uh, I have the brilliant, uh, make the brilliant call to grab that uh, flea and tick dip that was there uh, in, in the truck for that little dog. He, you know, you're supposed to put, I think, like a tablespoon in a gallon of water. I took that fucking bottle of tick dip undiluted and poured it right on this open sore on the side of my dick. I poured this fucking bottle of tick dip uh, all over myself and uh, that fucking uh, tick dip hit the side of my dick and, and, and I thought 
uh, that, that if it felt like I was fucking a tailpipe, uh, you can imagine. I, I thought that pretty much I had just taken a flamethrower and burned my dick off my body. I fucking screamed. I shot out. I was butt ass naked. Uh, spiders crawling all over me. Uh, tick dip dripping off my fucking dick. I shot out of the back of that goddamn pickup truck screaming, running butt ass naked across that campground, diving into the goddamn Pacific Ocean uh, with all of that damn salt water. Uh, you, you know, people, they, I don't know what they thought, you know, people uh, turning on their goddamn flashlights and running on, like, uh, you know, these were just my friends, like, like, hey, on what the fuck is, is going on? And, uh, anyway, uh, it got quite a laugh from the, uh, my, my fellow hippies that Hambone, uh, was out in the ocean at four o'clock in the morning washing baby spiders out of his dick. Uh, I can I can assure you I did not have sex with any of those uh, young hippie chicks on Montezuma Beach. And uh, so then, of course, I had this nasty fucking open sore on the side of my dick. Uh, the next day, it was, it was unbelievable how quickly that thing healed up. Uh, you know, you need to be careful about shit like that out in the jungle. I just uh, kept it, it is, you know, just like four times a day. Uh, would just go out into the ocean and flush it with salt water. And uh, in less than a week, there was no sign that uh, that mother fucking uh, spider had ever been there and gone. And uh, to this day, Google will uh, deny that this can happen. So, of course, I was, you know, you get into this sharing the grossest bug story. When you're traveling in Latin America for very long, one of the uh, contests you have is what is your grossest bug story? So I usually win with that one. But I will say uh, this uh, chick at the table one time, I don't know if she topped me or not, but uh, you know, people you know, at the table were accusing me of lying. That I was full of shit, that I was making this entire story up. Well, this, this other uh, woman, she chimed in and said, uh, I assure you that uh, Hambone is not making this shit up. What it, what it, the same thing happened to her, but it was right under her eye that uh, this happened, uh, this, this welt appeared right under her eye. And uh, same story would come and go, come and go, and uh, then in the middle of the night, the same thing happened to her, and she said she went into her bathroom, turned on the light, and looked in the mirror, and her entire face was covered with, the, with, with these baby spiders. Uh, she agreed with me. We figured maybe 400 that she's looking in uh, at hundreds of baby spiders covering her goddamn face. And uh, so anyway, she assured me I was not crazy. And uh, so anyway, if some fucking doctor uh, if you know, you know your own body. If you know that something is going on in your body and some fucking doctor who thinks they're God uh, tries to tell you that you're fucking crazy. Uh, you know, these goddamn uh, clueless fucking doctors gaslighting people. Uh, 
anyway that is my story and I'm sticking to it I don't give a flying fuck what Google uh, has to say about it I'm heading back into this beautiful day come see me at ticks in your skin farm bye guys